Okay, here's my next video on my uh, model railway built in a toolbox. And for this, I'm going to continue with building uh, one of the buildings uh, that disguises the handle um, in the middle of the uh, lift out tray. Um, so we saw this part of the building in the previous video. So that came from the Metcalf Bus Transport Depot Kit, this N-Gage, uh, kit number PN125, see there. Um, so you get four of those little, or parts to build, four of the little square buildings with a peaked roof. And then there is also included two little office buildings that can attach onto the ends. Um, so to start with, I had considered using one of those offices, so I think I shall build up one of those offices and see if I've actually got space for it um, before I build up the other two sections of uh, the main building. Okay, so in here we've got all the instructions and all the parts that come with it. I will probably be referring to the instructions quite a few times. Um, also there's already pieces taken out of these from the uh, oops, what was that bit? It's the bit on the floor. There we go. Um, yeah, also there's pieces missing because I've already started building the kit. Um, got, they're the roof trusses to put the roof on with. Let's find the office. Right, there's the there's a part of it. There's the glazing sheet with all the windows on. Right, so I don't want that at the moment. Let's put all these to one side. That has a piece of office. Windows, keep hold of those. Those over there. Right, here we go. Here was one of the office buildings. So we've got the main outside walls of the office there with the two doors to go on it. And that's the inside wall um, that attaches to um, cause the way the building works. I'll show you this one that I've already started building. Each end is made up with one of these with an open section in. Um, depending on what features you want, you can either leave it like that with the uh, frame around or the, um, the doorway. Um, or you can fill it in like I did with this one um, with these sections with windows and then the side pieces fold together they're just straight pieces across um, so the modular way it works that piece there is the uh, inside wall of the office that will attach inside one of these if you want to use the office um, so I want that piece <coughs> um, obviously I don't know that I'll be using the office building part of it yet because I don't know if I've actually got space for it. Um, so I'll build up the outside part first and then have a look um, at how that looks. Um, one thing that they do do with these kits, the Metcalf kits, they always give you extra sheets with parts on. So this has got some extra plain brick walls for the outside and some extra sections for the inside walls, um, which I might use bit of those to make a blank wall uh, on one side um, with no windows in, um, depending on if I can make use of the um, office building or not. Um, if I can use the office building, if there is space, then I'll, I won't need that. Um, if I do use, if I don't use the office, then I think I will have a blank wall. Um, then they also give you a load of signs as well that you can attach. So there's lots of transport related ones there. Um, but there's also a few others like paper converters, SFB steel, 
Euro plus plastic supplies. So yeah, various different signs if you want to use them as well. But right, put that one aside as well. Then there's a sheet there. Um, some pieces to make roller shutter doors if you want. Um, there's a couple of examples on the sheet as well as to how you can build multiple kits up into more than a uh, more than one kit into a larger structure. All right, so let's start with this instructions. For the office building, uh, first we need to attach the lazy and the doors in the right places. So, which windows does this use? Right, the picture shows these windows here on the outside of the building. Cut the building wall out first though. Let's cut out the windows. Right, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those. Make sure they all fit that size, yep. Yeah. Right, that should be the right number. Let's move that out of the way for now. Okay, something I haven't mentioned so far, the glue I'm using is Rocket Card Glue from Deluxe Materials. Um, this particular bottle came with a strange, flexible, fine tip applicator, sellotape to the side of it, just jam that on there, and that actually does make it easier to uh, manipulate where you're pouring the glue than the... Uh, short little metal um, needle applicators you can get for them. Um, this glue does dry really quickly. Um, it was the first time I'd used it um, the other day to assemble that first bit of building that you've seen. Up until that point I'd never used this glue before. And um, yeah, it's it dries quick. So it um, it does seem pretty good really for this. I mean it's it's difficult to uh, say how quick you want the glue to set, really, because obviously the longer it takes, the more time you've got for adjusting things if they're not glued quite in the right alignment. Um, but if it takes too long to dry, then you don't want to be sitting holding these things in place for absolutely ages. And this is really quick which is, um, I feel it could do with taking a little, um, could do with being a bit slower to set, really, um, when, I was, when adjusting the positioning of the, um, of the windows, certainly. Um, but, yeah, well, yeah, otherwise, I mean, it does seem to do a pretty good job. I mean, I can, I should, I'll be able to assemble this pretty quickly overall. Right, there we go. All the windows done. So next up, to fold and fix the door side tabs, fix the doors in place. Right, now along the top of these three tabs there, um, I guess because this is a uh, flat roof building, that just puts the brick pattern on the inside where the flat roof leaves part of the top visible, so they need folding over and going in. And then we have these end pieces. Right, those tabs have more folds in, I don't expect. Right, so they go round into the same 
there. And the idea is they fold all the way. So that when glued in, the little triangle floats forward. Wait, just about maybe there. Yeah. Little triangle stack you to a right angle at the joint. Um, so that's where it will glue onto the uh, onto the wall at the other end, um, and the same on the other end of this. Right. So the next stage is to glue in the um, inner floor that sits on top of the doors and needs to be kept level, and then the roof goes on and attaches to just under now that's that's one thing that they never say in the instructions the inner floor should go in okay but the roof the roof piece butts up against those bits we folded over um, if we bring it close to the camera you can actually see where it's glued in there isn't enough of a gap there between the glazing and the wall, I don't think, for the roof piece to go in perfect. But, you know, that's one of the things that we learn when we're piecing kits together. And having seen me make that mistake now, hopefully if you build a kit the same, you'll now think to check that before you get to that stage, which I didn't do, which I should. Yeah, check the instructions before starting to put it together. Right, I don't need that piece now, so that's okay. Right, so the inner floor goes in that, I believe. Got these two cutouts corners there um, to allow space for those triangular pieces. See that. Right, the best way to do this. I guess really I need the glue on the edge of this piece so that I can then put that in and fold around it. Right. Well, there's the start of it. it. Stands up on its own, unassisted. Right, so now we need a office roof. Right, so there's a roof. On that. There it is, if you'll focus. Well, you can just faintly see, even though it's not focused. Across here. There we go. A little bit of white. But on that corner, it is. The roof is flush to the bottom of the brickwork, as it should be. Um, so it looks like that piece of brick on that side isn't quite level, which means the roof sags slightly. You may be able to find a way of disguising that, possibly somehow. Uh, otherwise, if I want a perfect version, then I can build the other office that came with the kit for it, as long as I remember what's not quite right about it. So there we have it, one office building. Yeah, if we can zoom in on that. Yeah.
Right, seeing as this video is now almost an hour long, I think we shall leave it there for the moment. Uh, in fact, one thing we can do quickly is show what the building looks like in comparison to the other. I guess it would attach like that. If you were so wished. Oops. That would. So yeah, that doesn't look too bad. I have to decide whether I will use that outside office building or not. We shall see. Thanks for watching so far. And yeah, that's all I can think of at the moment.